Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna be doing this makeup look. Ooh. So the makeup look that I'm doing today is actually a face chart recreation of this makeup artist on Instagram, Milk1422 on Instagram. So he does like tons of really, really cool face charts, like really, really cool. And ever since I've been following him, I'm just like, dude, I wanna like do that. It looks like really fun makeup, you know? Okay, so I saw this picture that he posted and it just had so much color. It was so pretty and I was like, God. I really wanted to do it. So I just sat down. It was like the night before or two nights before Halloween and I was just playing around with makeup. I had no like plans of filming it or anything, but I ended up doing this and you guys really wanted to see a video on it. So yeah, I ended up doing this makeup and it was so much fun to like play with all these different palettes and all these colors that I never normally play with and just trying out different techniques and stuff like that. Anyway, so I decided to refill or to film this look and post it for you guys just because it was so much fun. So I'm gonna be doing that and I wanna let you know I'm gonna be using a ton of products, okay? The reason I'm using so many products is because obviously this is so many colors. This is not like one eyeshadow palette. It's not like an easy, like earthy look, you know? So I pulled out like all my ColourPop shadows that I like rarely use, my Melt Cosmetics shadows, my Urban Decay palettes that have like really bold colors in it that I don't normally use. So I'm using a lot of different products, but if you want to recreate this look or if you're planning on doing something similar, so obviously just use what you have. Like if you have Morphe palettes, I know those have like the big ones have tons of different colors in it. Just pick and pull from whatever you have. That's kind of what I did. I was just like beep, 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 beep. So I'm gonna show you guys how to get this look. And I also use all the products from this month's Ipsy Glam Bag. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna start out with a face mask and this one is from Bon Vivant. This is a botanical pure mask and I'm using the tea tree one and this will help to hydrate and calm the skin And next I'm gonna add a little bit of serum on my face This one is from hey honey, and it is their good morning honey silk facial serum And to prep my lips, I'm gonna be using this lip scrub. This is from indie beauty It's a buttercream antioxidant lip scrub and actually smells really good. It's I guess edible you're not supposed to eat it, but it's a lip scrub and a balm and it's edible. It smells edible, but don't eat it. We're gonna start with the eyebrows and I pushed all my eyebrows up. And to do that, I'm gonna be using a glue stick, but I'm not gonna apply it directly because I'm not trying to cover them or anything. I just want them to stick straight up. So I'm using an eyebrow spoolie, which is totally filled with glue right now. This is a Morphe E29 and I'm just gonna comb my brows upward. And then I'm gonna put some eyeshadow primer on. This is from MAC, the 24 hour extend eye base. All right, so now we're gonna start on the actual eyeshadow and I'm gonna be using a lot of products, so bear with me here. So I'm gonna start on the inner corner and work my way out. And the first shade I'm gonna use is Erotic. This is from ColourPop. Now I'm gonna go in with Melt Cosmetics Radon. So now I want like a dusty purple shade. So I'm going to use Delirious. This is from the Urban Decay Full Spectrum Palette. I know I used a different purple when I did this look a couple days ago, but I have no idea what it was. So I'm gonna use this one today. I'm gonna keep layering some more purple. Next, I'm gonna use Urban. This is from the Urban Decay Electric Palette. For the lid color, I'm just gonna use Peach Smoothie. I'm gonna add some blue, sky blue, into the inner corner of the eye using Ice Blue from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And for the brow highlight, I'm using this MAC pigment. This is vanilla. I'm gonna start going in with the blues and just kind of blending all these colors together. I'm gonna take Chaos from the Electric Palette and start to add it on the outer edge of the eye. Kind of just start blending, mixing everything together. And 
And to kind of tie in these colors together, I'm gonna use ColourPop Fantasy. Ooh. Now I'm taking Animal from ColourPop and I'm using that to blend in the inner corner of the eye, the orange and the blue together. Before we do the bottom eyeshadow where I'm gonna be adding like lime green and blue, I'm gonna add a little bit of lime green to the top so it kind of ties it in together. And I have a little bit of eyeshadow primer on a Q-tip because I'm just gonna add little dots right here. You could use like white concealer. Just that way it pops a lot. Or you could just use like a lime green cream. Take some green. This is from the Electric palette, the lime green color. And then I did add a little kiss of, I was just testing it out, but I ended up really liking the way it looked. This is the, uh, the MAC Dazzle Shadow in the color I like to watch. It's a different type of eyeshadow. It doesn't have a ton of pigmentation, but it does have cool reflection in it. And I just added that right in the center here because it also kind of has like a lime green reflection to it. All right, I'm like 50% done with my eyes, but I'm gonna do my foundation first. So that way I can start working on the lower lash line. All right, so for foundation, I used a uh, MAC Studio Fix Fluid. This is the shade NC30, which you will see is way too dark for me or way too like dark and yellow, but uh, it worked out, you know, if you paint down your neck too. So I really wanted a really full coverage foundation and the only shade of Studio Fix that I had was NC30. That's why I ended up using it. And then I realized like, wow, I forgot how full coverage it is. Like it looks so good. Um, and then I wanted to use a really bright highlighter. So it kind of worked with the contrast anyway. So I just rolled with it, you know? Look how dark that is. <laughs> and I'm gonna highlight using Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light. I'm currently using the Blue Chaos color from the Urban Decay Electric Palette. And now to drag the color down, I'm gonna mix a little bit of Chaos, this blue, with Gonzo, this brighter blue. Just a lot of mixing and blending. All right, so I'm blended a little bit of Gonzo, the brighter blue towards the center of the eye. So we're going from like chaos to Gonzo. And now I'm gonna go in with Thrash. The lime green shade right in the middle of the eye, just building and building. All right, and now for the inner corner, I'm gonna start to use a little bit more of like sky blue. And believe it or not, I did not have like any sky blue shadow, but I did find this quad. This is from L'Oreal. It's number 112. Eyeshadow palette with some blue shadows in here. So I'm gonna use these two kind of mixed together for the inner corner and the drip down on the inside of the eye. And now I'm gonna start going in with a little bit of detail in each of the drips and add just a line of that same color, but make it look a little bit darker using a Smith 203 liner brush. And then buffing out on the outer corners, I'm using Fantasy from ColourPop. It's like a really cool like iridescent purpley. Adds a little bit of glitter, and I feel like I can just bring it way, way out here. Now I'm just blending a little bit of the animal into the inner corner of the eye to kind of buff out some of that erotic shade. Similarly to how I did like the darker lines in the um, dripping down, I'm gonna do a couple right here. I'll use erotic, erotic from ColourPop and that angled brush, just do a little drip right here, just a little line. 
obviously you can tell by now, but I used a lot of products in this look. Like literally, it was like all the products that I always want to use because they're so colorful, but I never do. Now I'm gonna go in with some liners. These are the Razor Sharp Urban Decay Liquid Eyeliners. This first one is in the color Fireball. I ended up using a bunch of these because I needed a white one and I was looking for my NYX one, but I couldn't find the NYX white one. And then I remembered I had all these. So I used a few different shades, but you know, you can use gel liner, or no liner, darker eyeshadow, whatever you want. These ones are kind of cool because they're metallic. So I'm just gonna outline one side. Just kind of gives it a little more dimension. And then I'll do the green one because the green one's kind of hard to see on the drip. This is Kush. Hey, I'm just saying Urban Decay. They're a little racy with their names. And then the really fun part of this look is adding the white. Almost looks like paint splatter. Like if you look at his face chart, see how there's just like white dots everywhere? It gives it depth and dimension. So sometimes it looks like paint splatter. Sometimes it looks like a highlighter. It makes it look glossy. So you can just kind of go to town with this. And I'm using the white um, razor sharp liner from Urban Decay in the color Bump. And I'm just gonna add this in various places on the eye. And then to just smoke out the lower lash line a little bit using some black eyeshadow. This is Corrupt from Makeup Geek. All right, and then any excuse to use like pigments or reflects in this look, I was all about it. So for some blue reflects, I'm using Inglot. These are Body Sparkles number 51. I don't know if you can see in here, but they're just like really cool, fine. It looks white in here but it reflects blue. Kind of like MAC Reflex. I'm gonna add it like all over the inner corner of the eye, like heavy. And down the cheek, right here. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of black eyeliner on the top lid. And then for mascara, I'm using one of my favorite mascaras. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This is a super volumizing and lengthening mascara. All right, now we're gonna jump into the brows. And for the brows, we want it to be like kind of an exaggerated feathery almost drawn on look. So I'm gonna be using a pencil and then I'm gonna switch over to a gel. And the pencil I'm gonna start with is from Scone. This is the Brow Wand Eyebrow Pencil in the color Chocolate. And I'm gonna be doing the brush strokes upward, straight, almost straight up. And this will help me to kind of like guide my shape. And now I'm gonna go in, this is actually with a, a, a ColourPop brow color in the shade Bangin' Brunette. I'm gonna use this brush that I used for um, the little lines, just an angled brush. All right, so I am wearing Queen Bee lashes today, but I will tell you that when I did this look the other day, I did try out different lashes. I wore the um, Lily lashes in the style Bali, which I do like, but they just don't look as good on me. They don't look as good on me, and I had one wonky eye all night. Like, one was like that, you know? So I'm just going with what I know right now. I did, in my eyebrows, add some colored gel liner in the ends. So the colored liners that I had was, uh, this is ABH Ice Blue. This is a cream color, and then ColourPop maybe using some blue and lime green here. So I'm just gonna add some strokes of this into the brow, make it look a little more colorful. It's kind of like a candy cane stripe right now, which is not what I wanted. <laughs> I'm gonna take some lime green shadow that I used from the electric palette and just kind of buff that kind of near the brow. All right, so I'm gonna put some black in my waterline, loin, water loins. I was gonna use blue, but I think black would look better. So this is the uh, NARS Coal Liner. All right, so I'm gonna add a little bit of finishing powder to the highlight points of my face. And this one is from Japanesque. This is their pixelated color finishing powder in shade one, which is a universal finishing powder. So it has a light glow built into it. So I'm gonna add it right here. Add some here. 
All right, and the blush I'm using today is from Wet n Wild. This is the shade Mellow Wine. I've always wanted to use a shade, but I knew it was like a little bit too vibrant for me. So I finally got to use it today, like a nice vibrant color. And I added kind of a lot. This is like how much blush I always wanna wear. All right, and then for the highlight, I'm using this one from Artist Couture. This is in the shade Coco Bling, which I've been using a lot lately, just right on the top, just cause it's really, really bright. It's almost like white, as you can see, exhibit A. But it's really, really pretty. So I'm gonna be adding that on and I'm using a Luxie, this is a 524T brush. So you can use this for foundation, blush, pretty much anything, very versatile. It will give a nice airbrush finish cause it has a light touch. I'm gonna be using it to apply this highlight. Kind of swirl it. I'm gonna take a little bit of the Animal eyeshadow from ColourPop. I'm gonna put some right on the Cupid's bow. All right, now I'm gonna contour the nose a little bit and I'm gonna use, this is the SL Miss Glam Angled Eye W20 brush. This is an angled brush that you can use to blend out in your crease or get in like the contour of the eye, but I'm gonna use it to contour the nose. And I'm just gonna use a little bit of my NYX palette. This is like the regular color, just right here in the center of the nose. Make it like super thin. And then for the tip of the nose, so I had some really cool shading right here down um, on the front of the nose. So I'm gonna use an eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna use like a dark brown, ashy dark brown color and just start shading the nose. A little button nose. This is Fawn from ABH that I'm using. And then I'm gonna come in with the darker brown. And then you can make it look even more intense by adding some more of the white liner on the tip of the nose. All right, then we're gonna contour the cheekbones. Some more. No cocoa bling on the nose. Mm. I kind of just wanted a dark lip. The one in the image was like super colorful. I decided to go with a dark lip and do something a little bit more dramatic with the shape. And I actually used to reshape my lips, I used um, a brow pencil. This is the NYX Micro Brow. So that way if I mess up, it's like easy to fix, you know? And now I'm gonna fill it in with some lipstick and I used the Too Faced Melted Matte. This is in the shade Evil Twin and I forgot how much I love this formula. It's so bomb. It lasts forever and it's like really comfortable. It's almost like a blackish purple. And then we can go in with the same white eyeliner and add the white dots on the lips too. Add some highlighter, some cocoa bling. Heavy on this cupid's bow. All right, so the makeup is done. <laughs> And now I'm gonna go put my wig on that I got. And what I like to do is put some product in my hair so that way my baby hairs, well, these aren't called baby. These are straight up broken hairs. They don't frizz out. And I'm gonna use the Verb Ghost Oil. This is actually a smoothing oil, but it also helps to revitalize the hair. It's like a little treatment while I'm wearing my wig. So I'm just gonna put it here. All right, so now I have the wig on. I know I didn't film it because it's like a really awkward looking process. And then I put the beanie on. Look at, that's like my broken hair sticking out. So I just threw um, the beanie on it. You can put a hat on or a beanie on. It's just, you don't have to worry about the hairline, you know, it makes it a lot easier. But I got this wig at the Fashion District. It's like a really pretty, like rosy, peachy color. At one of the stores in the Fashion District, I think it was like 40 bucks or something. It was like a really good deal. That wraps up this makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it because I had so much fun doing this makeup look. Like I was actually excited having to do it again.
to film it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. Whoa, cool. Oh God. Oh God. Yeah. Yeah. Ah! Zo! What are you eating? Are you eating gum? It's crazy, nothing happened. Did you see that? <laughs> Let's try that again. So hard yes. for the money. Open it up a little bit, John Ye. Cur, cur, cur. Super cool. Look at these little hairs, they're just trying so hard to go to the other side. <laughs> <laughs>